it's here. It's on her racket right now. For Yakamova, who is the same age. Yakimova does not have a lot of power. He does not have a... Good second serve from Sharapova. It was Heather Watson. This is Cher. A couple of great points fought off there. And, and now is her chance to improve. Three break points saved by Sharapova. It's a little different when it's U.S. Open Ash Stadium at night. Four points, one in a row by Sharapova. Chance to get this first game. Accelerate. But she has been working with her coach, Thomas Hartstead on what you just saw right there to try to get it back. That one's way forward. Game. And the forehand winner, Sashara Pova, holds off three break points to win a six-minute opening game. Here. That's good aggressive play. Another forehand winner from Sharapova. to take a two-love lead here. Let's get the seats pretty much in order through. I wonder what people like better. I wonder if they like the unpredictable nature or if they like things to be more in order. Another winner from Sharapova. Are you pushing a pole down there, Pam? <laughs> the up-and-comers, but give us the big tickets when it's all said and done. something you can build confidence with in the second round. There's something you can take away and, and build upon, and she throws it up, not consistent enough with the ball toss. And back-to-back -back doubles, three so far in the first three games. Against Kvitova, who played amazingly well. She double faulted on big points. at hand stays positive somehow Game. 
game. You can just rip it past the opponent when you get an opportunity. It keeps you positive. That's a good point from start to finish, and that was a great ball toss. People who have developed these yips where you serve double faults in the 10 to 15 range have not won majors. That was a significant shoulder. 10 months, did so much rehab. success quickly but then struggled another forehand winner Sharapova. That's great depth. Break point. And that put away shot, that forehand winner, it's been in an accelerate and hit deep into the corners. compared to Yankovic in the Cincinnati final and still set point. affects 4 million Americans, a relatively small number, predominantly females. Mm. Seen the last, and to me, her legacy has been extraordinary, along with her sister and what she's done and accomplished with her seven major titles, all the doubles, and a great leader on and off the court. Sharapova, the doctor who said that it's not a life-threatening and potentially not a career-threatening injury. So we'll wait and watch, and I'm sure tennis fans all over hope for the best. Beautiful again. Up at 7 in the morning, saying, can I just get out there? Maybe can I hit 25, 30 minutes? I just want to get back out there. Good, Pam. What you, is it? You might be right after this point. Okay, that's a good hint. <laughs> and 
you are. You are correct, <laughs> Pam. <laughs> you know, there were some priceless looks on some faces when Andy was making his comments. And her ranking has uh, moved up to number four. Yes. Everything turned around for Sharapova at Rome. We talk about the hunger of champions. Standpoint, comfortable enough, yet the desire to come back and go through this very public fight back to the top of the game and a lot of difficult steps over the last couple of years to get to number four again. Persevering. She has, and it's almost like, okay, breaking through at a big title on a surface you don't enjoy the most. That gave her a boost, and the forehand, Pam. The draw looks like it has changed significantly in the last 24 hours, with more than just Venus having to withdraw. I love yeah, service yeah, games, yeah. but back to back by Sharapova, she's up 3-1 out. American, and uh, she did not find out she was going to be playing here in Arthur Ashe Stadium for a very short time before her match. Put away by Sharapova, quickly third. And I interviewed her afterwards. She had blood in the side of her mouth. She was just shot with adrenaline throughout her whole body, so excited, holding the flag upside down, not even realizing it. I mean, in the way she finished the match. Her fellow 24-year-old Anastasia Yakimova. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a whole lot of that. Years old, the youngest player in the draw, first major ever. Winning around and almost defeating Safarova today. Much more solid play. Yes, much improved play from Sheriff.